Let's talk about ever webinar emails and how you can get more attendance rate, a very high attendance rate, just with modifying and tweaking your ever webinar emails. Now listen, once a person joins your automated webinar funnel inside ever webinar, they are sent a series of emails. They get one post registration, they get one just before the webinar, they get one after the live webinar has happened, the fake live webinar, and they also get one for the replays. So what I want to show you inside this video is how you can get a higher attendance rate with your ever webinar campaigns just by using a few emails and I'll give you the swipe emails that you can literally just take and paste in your own campaigns. You'll need to modify a few things. But my goal with this is once you finish watching this video, you will have a perfect ever webinar funnel, at least with the emails wise. Now, I won't teach you in this video how to create an ever webinar funnel. We'll just go through the actual notification emails that you can easily set up inside ever webinar that gives you a higher chance of getting the person to actually join your live and replay webinars because that's where the actual sales happen. So are you ready to make more sales with ever webinar? Let's dive in my computer and let me show you how it's done. Now we've been running a successful ever webinar campaign for Optin Labs for several months now. And in this video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step rundown of how to set up your notification emails inside your ever webinar campaign to improve your live and replay attendance rate. And I'll also hand over the exact templates you can use. And you have full permission to swipe and paste them in your own campaigns. Now, what kind of attendance rate are we talking about? Well, we're talking about almost 50% attendance rate, like 50% of people who actually signed up, they actually uh, came and watched either the live or the replay. And uh, this is a sample set. We have been running several ever webinar clones of this same campaign here. Some have high, some have lower, but uh, around 50% is what you should expect once you have these set up and your offer is hot as well. So uh, these are the notification emails and this, this, these are the stats like the the highest number of clicks that you'll get of course will be for the last minute reminder like once a person has uh, it's just 15 minutes before the actual webinar starts um, now how do you set up your ever webinar emails i'll just show you you go inside your ever webinar campaign and click on edit and it'll take a while to load because it just does and while we're waiting, what we need to do is go to step four, which is notifications. That's where all the magic happens. And if you haven't already, you need to sign up for an SMTP. I don't recommend using ever webinars, um, email sending system, um, their own inbred SMTP. What I recommend is using your own. So hit the notifications tab here, uh, click on configured the pencil icon right here. And, uh, here you have to make sure that you have your settings right inside email notifications. Now what you need to do is uh, make sure the SMTP is fine and um, uh, you have several like um, providers to choose from Amazon SES, SendGrid, SMTP.com. You can just sign up for any one of them and use them and uh, you can save this information and it will be used for all your future webinars as well. Now once you have signed up for a system you need to give the SMTP port, username and password and each system has its, has its own in this regard. So that's where you set that up. And now coming to the emails. Now there are three type of email, uh, uh, two type of emails that are sent out actually. One is post registration and before the live. One is after the live and before the replay. And what you need to do is set up six of them. Now you can set up seven or eight, but only if the um, if the timeline allows so. So for example, our automated webinars happen about a day after they have signed up or sometimes even within hours or just in time as well. So in our case, it makes sense for six, but if your ever webinars are set up in a way that once a person registers, their, their uh, actual webinar, the live webinar happens like three or four days after they've signed up. In that case, you want to set up like a couple more here, which will be sent like on day two and day three as well. Now, what are the pre live webinar emails these three all right and these three are the welcome message and the pre webinar reminder and the last minute reminder now what i've done is in the description 
Um, I've written a post about all of this and you can just uh, swipe. I've, I've given all the actual templates that we've used here. You can just swipe them, edit them as per your convenience and use them. And um, what you need to do is make sure these are set up correctly. Like the welcome message needs to be sent out immediately. The pre-webinar reminders need to be sent out one hour before and the last minute reminder is 15 minutes before. And what we've done is really cool in this regard that if I click on edit right here, in the last minute reminder, we also have a big bold button which says join the live training. Um, I've mentioned this button again inside the description, you'll find a link, I've given that here. So you can just use the same button if you want, it's working very well for us. And again, as you can see, it's uh, to be sent 15 minutes before. All right, and uh, make sure your links, etc., are all right, like the title, description, date, login to webinar button, all these links for the webinar. They've mentioned all the short codes right here. So make sure all the links are right and make sure you test your emails once you set them up. So once you set up all your emails, make sure you sign up for the webinar like an actual visitor would and just see what kind of emails you get. All right, now uh, the live section of this webinar is um, um, then the live webinar happens and after that you get a post webinar message and this is where it gets interesting because as you can see there are three emails that get sent eight hours after the live webinar um you're like what three emails back to back it's not like that it actually um, uh, the ever webinar system is very intelligent in a way that they know which which attendee uh, which registrant webinar registrant actually showed up for the webinar which one left before the webinar finished and which which ones actually watched the entire thing so that's exactly what we have done here now these are your um, um, three categories of people those who did not attend uh, those who um, so those who did not attend will get this we missed you kind of thing and the text of the, the text of the actual email will also be like okay you registered but you did not show up and we had an amazing response at the webinar and we missed you so what's the replay and the second category is those who attended but they left early so for them uh, we send them did you leave the webinar early and then we again the text of the email will be more like uh, hey, we noticed you were enjoying the webinar, but you left early, um, but uh, um, I don't want you to miss anything. So here's the link to the replay, something like that. And um, the final one is for those who actually watch the entire thing. And for them, we show them this thing. Here's how to grow your list 300% faster. And in this case, we take them to a direct VSL, uh, where um, which, which is a short version of the webinar. And that way you have all your people set up correctly. So uh, make sure um, <clears throat> one bonus tip is about post replay emails. So as you can see, ever webinar won't let you schedule emails after the replay has happened. In that case, your autoresponder comes in handy. Make sure you have uh, inside the integrations section, you have integrated your own autoresponder. And um, a lot of people get confused like what and when to send the next autoresponder because each person is, re is registering on their own timeline for ever webinar. And uh, most of the confusion arises when you can't know for sure when the entire EW email series is over. Because there's no connection between Ever Webinar and your autoresponder in that regards that Ever Webinar lets them know, okay, I've sent them this email and now you can uh, send your own emails, right? So the first email you put set up inside your autoresponder is to send your lead. Uh, um, um, you need to send your lead is right once a person joins your list you know like for example once a person registers they'll get two emails one from ever webinar and one from your actual autoresponder now i know they're getting an email from your autoresponder and from your ever webinar at the same time but there's a reason for that we need them to understand that they are now on two different lists that they are one on ever webinar list and they're also on your autoresponder list so the next time they get an email from your autoresponder they don't hit the spam button the second email that your autoresponder sends will have to be about three to four days after they've joined a list. So this not only gives them a little breathing space if they attended the just in time webinar, uh, but also close enough to pitch your product in a different manner. So what we do is pitch the VSL of our product, which is the condensed version of the webinar. And we continue that email series for about a week. Um, 
and uh, make sure to set up your automation rules inside your autoresponder like um, uh, if a person has already bought your product they are they are removed from that web registration list and they are set up on your customers list so make sure you have that automation set up in place because we don't want to pitch the vsl to people who have already bought the product right so it's time to take action just uh, i mentioned the link below in this uh, description if you're actually watching from the post itself then uh, uh, I've mentioned the templates below so make sure you get good use of them and I hope you get a higher attendance rate on your ever webinar funnels